I won't stop till I hear him say Warning, the information that we convey in these videos and the content on this page simply provides general consumer information. It is not legal advice or regulatory guidance. It is not intended to sway your personal bias in any way. We are simply just relaying information already available to the general public. We highly suggest you do your own research and draft your own opinion on the topics disclosed in this video breakdown. Without further ado, sit back, relax, enjoy this video breakdown, and if you're not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, consider doing so now. If you don't know and you're not aware of the big six, that the big six corporations that own the Netflixes, the YouTubes, all of these corporations, HBO, Fox News, ABC, Disney, Marvel, okay? These are the big six corporations that this document is talking about. Okay, what is going on, CyperX Advanced YouTubers? Welcome back to the CyperX YouTube page. In today's video breakdown, we're going to be talking about the big six corporations. I'm going to be reading some very interesting documents to you all. We're going to jump over to the computers. I'm going to screen share some very interesting articles with you all, reading them, going over why these elite individuals do not want you invested in the cryptocurrency market space. We're going to be talking about derivative exchanges. We're going to be talking about mutual funds and investment firms. With that being said, if you all enjoy video breakdowns like this, going down the rabbit hole make sure that you smash that thumbs up button subscribe to the youtube channel and don't forget to head over to our rumble page where we do have a more so uncensored type of content stuff that we cannot post on the youtube channel the link for the rumble page is in the description down below with that being said let's jump over to the computers and start today's video breakdown Alrighty, so the first article that we're going to start off with today to take us down the rabbit hole is this one from the Daily Huddle. And I'm sure that a lot of people have already seen this and been aware of this message that Jim Cramer decided to display to the world the day before Christmas. CNBC's Jim Cramer warns Solana and Litecoin holders says he would not touch crypto in a million years. Now, after reading this document, something that I found interesting after his statement was that he mentioned having his money in JP Morgan. He said, I would not touch crypto in a million years because I wouldn't trust the deposit bank. So if you have your money in all of those, look, I'm not calling you an idiot. I'm just saying you're using a lot of blind faith. And I like to have my money in JP Morgan. All of these elite individuals are tied together. Hmm, Jim Cramer, you mean this JP Morgan? One of Wall Street's biggest banks, led by Jamie Dimon, who has completed its first ever cross-border transaction using blockchain-based decentralized finance, or DeFi, and what's been called a massive step for the crypto space. I'm just saying, follow the breadcrumbs. Moving on. I have these two documents that are going to take us down the rabbit hole today. They're a little bit of a lengthy read for the first one, so just check this out. Web 3.0, and this is where we're going to get to talk about the oligopolies, and we're going to talk about the big six corporations. Web 3.0, and I'll, let me zoom in for you all on this. Web 3.0 is a fresh new formation of architecture that fortifies the internet. For fair comparison purposes, Web 1.0 was represented through rudimentary read-only passivity in users and the users-only browser, a quite poorly organized framework at low bandwidths, along with limited accessibility. Meanwhile, Web 2.0 is represented through a dualist interaction between consumers and the producers of content. For instance, posting, blogging, and tweeting all portray active methods of content creation on these platforms. Accordingly, the Web 2.0 issues that were discussed stated that platforms on which all users interact are core pillars of power in their own right. The platforms such as Facebook or Meta provide them with astonishing degree of control over the structure of the internet. Correspondingly, in the streaming video category, there are Netflix and YouTube, Twitter and microblogging, Amazon, eBay, and a few more for e-commerce, LinkedIn for professional networking, and lastly, Google in the search engine segment. All of these will be curators of context and also ushers of the useful information to the public. These oligopolies are donated as the big six. If you don't know the big six, we'll head over here. We will use the term oligopoly, right? Oligopoly is a market structure in which a market or industry is dominated by a small number of large sellers or producers. When we come over here, if you don't know and you're not aware of the big six, that the big six corporations that own the Netflixes, the YouTubes, all of these corporations, HBO, Fox News, ABC, Disney, Marvel, okay? These are the big six corporations that this document is talking about. So 
During the past few decades, the above-mentioned oligopolies have developed from agile, low-profile outfits into powerhouses that govern their sub-areas, and also procured any firm that raised even the remotest challenge. Before adopting the Web 3.0 technology, the internet speed was bizarrely slower than that of the internet speed in the year 2012. Respectively, nonetheless, the question is to envision an improved architecture and not remain hindered in the current scheme through discussing apprehension of stability to it. Mainly, since numerous people do recollect an age before the internet existed, overall, Web 3.0 is postulated on a user-centric architecture with the prominent characteristic of decentralized blockchain protocols. Web 3.0 is a group of protocols to offer a core component for application creators. These components replace the old-fashioned web technologies such as AJAX, MySQL, and HTTP and offer a new way of making applications. If you're sitting here like, Cypress, why are you reading this to me and why does this have anything to do with this, okay? Well, let's go over here. This is another part of this document and it says right here, this is gonna blow your mind if you're still here, check this out. Blockchain is likely to represent a crucial part in the substantial growth of the global economy. As a result, favoring all of the consumers around the globe alongside the existing banking system. Blockchain technology provides a considerable revolution to capital markets, along with an efficient method of performing derivatives transactions. So if you go over here, and remember, this all started back when Jim Cramer, part of the big six or hired by the big six, who also mentioned JP Morgan, who was also part of the big six, we led down that rabbit hole. Coming over here, it mentions derivatives, the banking system, how blockchain provides considerable revolution capabilities to capital markets, along with an efficient method of performing derivatives transactions, right? So we come over here, just use Google. Google is an amazing thing. It was also part of the big six, but check this out. This information is not hidden from you. What are the five main areas in the financial service industry? Here are the main types of financial services, banking, which we already know, all of the banksters are adopting central bank digital currencies and moving toward the blockchain. Advisory, wealth management, mutual funds, and insurance. Today, we're just going to cover wealth management and mutual funds to blow your mind. Who is the biggest and largest mutual fund company? BlackRock, as of March 2022, with around $10.1 trillion of U.S. assets under management, okay? And we all know from a past previous video breakdown, the BlackRock CEO, Larry Fink, said on a live interview that the entire bond market is being transformed and digitized. Buying exposure. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. The entire bond market is being transformed as we talk right now. We come over here. As speculators, and this is from straight from BNY Mellon. Okay, BNY Mellon, as speculators follow the decade-long boom and bust of cryptocurrency since Bitcoin's debut, other trusted institutions began to leverage blockchain, the technology behind cryptocurrencies on its own. Institutions like BNY Mellon are that at the forefront of moving the adoption of blockchain forward by exploring how this technology can be used to improve custody and asset services for our clients. Who is BNY Mellon? We'll come over here. It is the world's largest custodian bank and security services company with $2.4 trillion in assets under management and $46 trillion in assets under custody as of the second quarter of 2021. We come back over here. Do you all see what this document says right here? Okay, this document literally says, Blockchain technology provides a considerable revolution to capital markets, along with an efficient method of performing derivatives transactions. Furthermore, if we associate the traditional fiat currencies with cryptocurrencies, we have an indigenous reserve of values with no government interface and therefore consists of reduced price consistency and also offers a swift method of cheap medium of exchanges. Hmm. We know that it's going to transform the banking sector. Wealth management and mutual funds are also adopting blockchain technology. And I just showed you how they operate with trillions of dollars, okay? Trillions of dollars, all right? Last but not least, it mentioned the derivatives exchange, okay? And this last part of the sentence, it says right here, method of performing derivatives transactions. Well, who is the largest derivatives exchange 
CME Group. The CME Group is the largest futures exchange in the world. It consists of Chicago Merchant Exchange, Chicago Board Trade, and the New York Mercantile Exchange. All right. Well, if we come over here to a PDF straight from the CME Group, this is going to blow your mind, and I will leave you all with this document. We come over here, and it says explosion in blockchain com companies. And we come down here. Let me zoom in for you all. And it says middleware and services. It talks about payroll, payments, financial data, services, software development, general APIs, special APIs. And then it mentions infrastructure and base protocols. In this previous article, okay, let me just loop all this before I blow your mind. It says right here, Web 3.0 is a group of protocols to offer core components for application and creators. These components replace the old fashioned web technology, such as AJAX, MySQL, and HTTP. If we come back over here to this document, again, from the biggest derivatives exchange, the CME group, it says right here, infrastructure and base protocols, special, Ripple, and Stellar. Do you all see this? Do you all see this? If you're still here, smash that thumbs up button, subscribe to the YouTube channel. This is nuts in a, an amazing find, an amazing find straight from the CME group, PowerPoint template. Okay. If you see this connection, where it literally says Web 3.0 is a group of protocols to offer core components that will replace the old system, okay? That is why these elite individuals like Jim Cramer, who work for the big six, do not want you involved in crypto because it is all about to be tokenized. Everything is about to switch to a digital protocol utilizing the blockchain. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen, Ripple, Stellar, all of these utility-driven assets are going to be at the forefront of this technology wave of adoption, okay? This new infrastructure and protocol that's going to run our financial system, not only the banking sector, okay, but the advisory sector, the wealth management sector, the mutual funds, the insurance sector, all the money, all the money. This is not financial advice. I'm just simply reading documents to you all that are already re readily available to you all. You have to be the one to do the digging, to, to zoom out and see the bigger picture. Blessings to you all. If you all stuck around this long, make sure that you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. I will see you all in the next YouTube video breakdown. I won't stop till I hear him say. Oh, oh, la, 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 la.